Professor David, Sean Kenny here. Got another video for you today, guys. We have a YouTube short on this one, but now we're gonna give you a longer version so we can break this down for you because there's a lot of people who walk with a cane. It's not just for the elderly no more. It's not just for the elderly. A lot of people got a little overweight, bad knee, they knee surgery, and because they're carrying that extra weight, they walk with a cane. They necessarily are not injured, they're just carrying too much weight and they need to walk with a cane, okay? Then you got guys that suffer an injury, a knee injury, right? You need to walk with a cane. Then you just have naturally old age. You need to walk with a cane. So there's all different degrees of people walking with a cane. But let me show you the best way to use this cane. To another level. A lot of times you've seen videos on guys taking, doing stuff like the man throws a hook punch, take the cane, hook the back of the ankle, pull the leg out, and the man falls, or hook him from the inside, hook him, and then push him, and he trips. Guys, no. Okay? Or the guy, you got the cane, and you're holding the cane this way, and when the man throws a punch, throw the cane up, hook the cane, turn the hand around, redirect the hand, and then use the cane. No, man, all of that ain't no older person, ain't nobody who's, who's, who's walking with a cane with a bat. Ain't gonna remember all that. That is martial arts stuff. And I keep trying to tell you, it's okay if you're a martial artist and you put the time into that stuff and then you happen to be walking with a cane. But the average person is not a martial artist, is not a trained person. They just walk with the cane for assistance. And I'm here to tell you that if you're walking like this with the cane, right? Now, because you're holding it like this and you're putting all your weight on the cane to help you walk, you got to understand you're limited. So what everybody thinks if somebody comes in front of you is to flick the cane into the groin, come up into the groin, and then come back and use the cane, use the weapon. Do you know how hard it is to do this? And let me tell you why that in today's society, it's not going to be effective. Do you know why, Kenny? Because most of the guys walk, wear their pants. Sagging. Sagging. Most of the guys sag their pants. So, so their groin is up here, but their pants is down here. So when you do this, you're getting nothing but sag. Material. That's right. <laughs> you think you're hitting nuts. You ain't hitting nuts. You're hitting cloth. That's it. And then they're going to react the same way. But they ain't gonna feel no pain. So after they do this and react, now they're gonna beat the hell out of you because they know what you were trying to do. Guys, number one, you're walking with that cane, you have to be more aware. You have to pay better attention. If I'm walking with a cane and I'm injured, and everybody who trains know what I'm talking about. Everybody who trains, when you got an injury, you feel like you're some kind of a victim. So because you train, now you're on hyper alert. Because you know you got that injury. And you're thinking, man, I ain't gonna waste no time with nobody. And you're sizing everybody up at every grocery store, everywhere you walk. So that's the mindset of a trained person. But guys, remember I told you personal development? Think differently. I know I'm walking with a cane. The first thing I have to do is pay more attention. I gotta be more aware. I have to be more aware of my surrounding. If I see a guy coming at me and I'm walking with a cane, I'm not gonna allow him to get this close. I'm not gonna allow him to get this close. I'm just not, because I got a cane and I'm walking with a cane. So what do you want? I want your goddamn money is what I want. Hey, <laughs> no, it's too close. So now, when I see him walking with the cane, immediately, I'm going to check him. And I know if he has bad intentions, he's going to move that hand because he wants to close that distance. Okay? So I know because I checked him high, he's going to move the hand. Now, if I have my hand like this, all I could do is swing it. He's not going to let me, when he do this, pick up the stick and stand there so I could hit him. No, as soon as I pick up that stick, 
Motion causes motion. motion. So I did this. That's one motion. He did that. Another I do this. That's a motion. Now he's going to come in on it. You see what I'm saying? It's not going to work. So the first thing you got to do, guys, when you see the threat from back here, change your hand positioning. Change your hand positioning from this to this. Just change it from the top of the cane to the side of the cane. That's all. Why? Because I got more swinging leverage with the cane. Can you step back for a second? Like this. I can hear it. I can hear the cane swinging like this. If I hold it like this, I can't hear the cane. I can't hear my own stick. I hold it like this, I can hear the woof in the wick. Woof. So now, same technique. I see the guy coming. I check him. He moves my hand. Wow! I move this in. Whoa! Now it allows me now to change position. So now he's coming back at me. Now I can work the what the tip of the stick. Or here's the thing. I could do this. He's coming at me. I could grab it. And he's gonna grab it. He's going to grab it. And he's still gonna come forward. So I gotta turn it. So now I unbalance him. And guys, if my leg can, if I got any motion in my leg, snap his leg. And then use the cane and proceed to strike. Or, or, if I don't have any motion in the leg, after I did this, and he, he's here, let go of my hand, whoom, my hands still work. Whoom, it starts striking. That will give me back my weapon, whoom, and I can start using the cane. That's one way of doing it. Another way of doing it, once again, because I see him coming, and I'm walking, I change my position, I just go right into it. I am not waiting for nothing. Remember, I practice self-offense, not self-defense. I could, because I'm a man with a cane. Why wouldn't you walk to the side? Why wouldn't you move to the left or to the right and give me a clear path? No, you're going to be a knucklehead and you coming right at me. So when I see you, boom, right from here, whack in your face, boom, in your head. And that's the way you use your cane. From here, don't break your stride. Just practice this. And as it come up, boom, right in. Don't even wait for him. What are you going to do? You're going to block this cane? Try to block this. Block it. Try to block that. can't block it. Soon as you do this, I let go of the top. Whack! Guys, if you're walking with a cane, two things you got to remember. Number one, awareness. Be aware. Number two, change your hand positioning. Take it from this to this. As soon as you feel that negative energy, as soon as you feel threat, you can walk a couple of steps like this. The guy's not paying attention. He still see you limping. He still see you moving, right? I'm coming at you. you you're still looking at me limping. You can't see that I changed my hand position. And you don't care. All you know is, oh, he's a victim. Oh, my God, I'm looking. He can barely move. He can barely move. Hi! Hi! I can barely move, but my cane can stab. And my cane can strike because remember, go first. Who goes first most of the time wins, especially if they have a little training behind them. Kenny, tell them what to do. Guys, I know that that that's some sort of crazy value today, guys, in this video. And I know, know you got some value out of it, guys. So right now, get a like, guys. Give us a like for that video, guys. Remember, hit that subscribe button, guys. Share the videos. Thank you very much. We'll see you in the next one.